Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Deep-seated disdain, condescension, accusations of arrogance, all part of the Palmetto State battle between Clemson and South Carolina. Kickoff is coming up. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. college football rivalry is always a lot of fun. It's the annual Battle of the Palmetto State. And now let's get that out of the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He is drilled at the 17. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. So the sack makes this a second and long. down after a nice run up the middle. Ward picks up five with the carry. That makes it third and 11. Let's pick it up. It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Switch, switch, switch. Looking for his man incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Got the corner. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. South Carolina has got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Here we go. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. Too easy. Too easy. That'll bring up second and 12. Strike complete. He's down. Young gains about four yards there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Here we go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. This was a tight one to the very end. The Cowboys win it, 17-14. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Rivers gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. South Carolina's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 23. rid of it from their own 38 yard line second down and down he goes around the 46 yard line the offensive lineman played that one perfectly giving the tailback plenty of space to work with and he took advantage of it around the 35-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Kill, kill, kill! run to the outside. And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 12-yard line. First down. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And they make the stop at the four. They 
go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Gamecocks with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Clemson to kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. South Carolina is up by four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 34. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. seven-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. From their own 47-yard line, first down. And he's hit immediately. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. South Carolina is up four. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Ready, 180, wide. Brought down around the 29-yard line. Third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Pitches it, and they push him out at the 27-yard line. A couple of yards there on the option of the halfback. That makes it fourth and inches. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Tackled after a decent pickup. 
This is the tenth play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 17. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. This is the 12th play of this drive. South Carolina holds a four-point lead. Throws this one away. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He goes downtown. He goes up and gets it. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. And they got him for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second and 15. Ball on the 37. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. That's a game of seven on the play. That will bring up third and eight. with room to work inside the 10 big play and it's first and goal he is such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here runs outside for a nice game game seven on the play Scrambling around, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 69-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Williams fields it at the three, gets out to about the 21. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Carries the ball for a nice game. The Gamecocks taking their first time out of the half. Mike, 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 
They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he is drilled at the 32. That brings up third and 14. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So... When you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. their own 37 yard line it's first down throws to the tailback incomplete that makes it second and ten his way to about the 48. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Quick pass. And down he goes at the 46.
makes it to the 31. From the 31 yard line. First down. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 16 yard line. the eighth play of this drive. it to the nine. Game one yard. Third down. down. Tenth play of the drive. Junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. This isn't much more than an extra point. South Carolina is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, checking out the action in Cincinnati. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Bearcats take it by five. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Rivers looks ready to kick this one off. Johnson from the six, brought down at the 25. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle around the 34-yard line. That's a good one. That'll make it second and inches. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill, kill! Again with the run. And they make the stop at the 28. That's good for him. First stop. Gets it. He's in space. He's knocked out of bounds at about the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings up a second and goal. Four yards out. The Tigers defensive back left the game earlier with an injury. Good news, however. It looks like he's ready to return to action. They'll work the left side. Touchdown, Tigers! which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He makes the PAT. The Tigers running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. He'll return it from the one. 
And down he goes at the 19. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Wants to throw outside, and he's tackled right away. So at the end of the third quarter, Clemson leads it 17-13. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Release tight end incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. Young takes it up the middle and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. No game on the play. That brings up third and ten. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they'll get him in the backfield. That brings us fourth and 11. Kelly is waiting for the snap. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Clemson is up by four. He's out to the 30. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they finally tackle him at the 30 yard line. Call it a game of 34. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down. Hey, check, check back 11. Check back 11. Go. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Hey, 
Back to the running back, and he gets nowhere. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Is one for the end zone. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. A heck of a job there to keep this drive going. Less than three minutes in the game. Man open, incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Down around the nine yard line. That makes us early goal. Red two, X seven. Kill, kill, kill. Number three. Well, you've got a chance here to build on your lead or at the very least, chew up some clock. The last thing you can afford to do is turn the football over. Boy, they're very fortunate. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29. Talk about a pressure-filled situation. Young's playmaking abilities have got him to this point, Kirk, and now he's got a chance to put it away. Well, you're talking about one of the most explosive players on this field, and if I'm running this offense, I'm finding any possible way to get the football into his hands. He has the potential of taking the ball to the house anytime he touches the ball. It's pressure-packed moments like this where great players need to step up. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's tackled the 39-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Got a receiver and he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Larry, Larry. Ready. He's got it with room to run. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. From the 30-yard line, it's first down.
throws out and through his hands. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Around the 19-yard line. South Carolina's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle at the 13. Stops the clock with a spike. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Under a minute left in the game. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown, game cuts. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time.
Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's a tie ball game, 2020. Rivers has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the five-yard line, he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Clemson's a team on a mission right now, it appears. They have put up 20 points in a row. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through fourth quarter. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the 34. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He throws a dart to the left. And they make the stop at the 42. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. And they push him out at the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's hit immediately. Kill, kill, kill. Green. Green nine, green nine. X seven. Got it. He zips it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 26. There's the timeout we were all expecting. It has the distance. And he got it! Game over! And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 23-20, Tigers. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And boy, was it fun to watch. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.